Bro, I swear I just seen something move over there in the door, doorway. All right, we're gonna go ahead and start getting out of here. What? What was it? Oh, I don't know, dude. Like, I'm telling you, I heard, we are, we've heard like this noise. Yeah, I look up and I swear I've seen something move out here and I don't see very well. Did you really murder your dad and stepmom? Whoa! Oh. 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 Like somebody's walking up there. Everyone's sleeping. Oh. What's going on? Dude, it's going off like crazy. There's something evil in this house. Where's it? He witnessed this rocking chair moving on its own. Oh, oh, look. Like it was legit moving? Legit moving back and forth. Are you sure it wasn't something like maybe the... Because there's the air duct right there. It can't be the air. Oh gosh, that's the second time. That is weird. In case you missed my first video, I shared with you a little bit more history on the Borden house and Lizzie Borden, what had happened in case, you know, you don't know, maybe you're new to my channel or you're new to the whole Borden history, but yeah, be sure to check it out. I'm not going to be explaining too much of that history in this video. I mean, I might here and there, but not a whole lot. We are going to be visiting tomorrow morning, the cemetery where the Bordens are buried. We're going to do a paranormal investigation there. We wanted to go at nighttime, but we weren't able to. So yeah, if you want a little bit more history on, you know, the Bordens, be sure to check out that video. I'm not going to do a whole lot of history on this video because it'd be like the same video, you know? But anyways, James and I are both going to be filming ourselves sleeping. It's something that I actually love to do and somewhere that has a lot of haunted history. This happens to be, in my opinion, one of the most creepiest and haunted houses I've ever investigated. Almost like when I was by myself, I mean, I... I, I was really, really scared, and I don't get scared very often. We are in the attic right now. This is the third floor, and our bedroom is right over here. We are actually in the largest bedroom of the house, which is the master bedroom. That's going to be where James is going to sleep, and I am sleeping right here. Earlier today, I, I don't know, I felt like a really strange vibe coming from the bathroom. Now, there was never a bathroom here in the first place. You know, maybe... Maybe that's why I have an EMF meter that is very, very stubborn. I mean, I've brought this EMF meter to tons of haunted locations that were confirmed haunted locations and it never, never even like spikes at all. And for some weird reason, this thing was going crazy. And you can see it's not doing anything. So I'm going to leave it there for a little bit. I mean, it was, it was going crazy. That's in my my part one video if you want to see it looks like there's nothing happening anymore yeah pretty sure that is abby borden right there oh this is abraham oh, okay that's the fish peddler abraham borden father of andrew very hard work kind of jealous of james because he can sleep like i mean it doesn't take him that long for me i gotta play with my phone and i don't know it just takes me a while but i'm gonna go ahead and let that record for a few hours. I will see you in the morning.
course it's not going off now when I start recording it. Are you here, Lizzie? Almost felt you like breathing on me. I don't know, I don't think I slept that long. Maybe like two hours or so. Well, ever since I got here to this house. <gasps> I don't know, I felt like there's something weird in here. It's a weird feeling. Are you the one making all that noise in here? I wonder if that's... Is that you, Andrew? I don't know, like... Like I said, every time I come in here... I had to use the bathroom a couple of times. Like, I feel like a cold... A cold man. <gasps> There's something that does not belong in here. I mean, maybe Lizzie is really jealous that there's a bathroom here because, like I said in my first video, they didn't take baths, at least like this, like we do today. They were using something like that to take a bath and, I mean, even to use the toilet. Like they had these little bowls if they had to go to the toilet in the middle of the night. They would go in this little bowl. And then there there were toilets in the in the basement. And I showed that in my previous video. Are you busy? Good morning, fam. Woke up bright and early, took a shower. That's why I look a little different. You know, it didn't dawn on me until this morning what this was. Now this bathroom, you know, it had to have been something before. Well, come to find out, this was Mr. Borden's dressing room, or I don't know, closet. This is where he used to get ready for work because he was more than likely a seven day a week worker, kind of like me. But I don't want anybody to uh, not stay at the boarding house because of this, but I really did not get a good sleep last night. It had nothing to do with, you know, the beds being comfortable or 
anything like that. This house is very charming. The bed is very comfortable. The, you know, the linens are very comfortable. However, I think it's all about the history and the excitement and maybe little noises that you hear in the middle of the night that just keeps you up. Like I probably only had maybe like an hour and a half of sleep total. In the middle of the night, I woke up, I noticed that my other camera was not recording, and then I look through this mirror right here, and to my surprise, I seen a tall, dark figure like in this area. Now, I woke up, I looked back, I thought it was James, because James is really tall. If you didn't know, James is like six, seven. Like, you know, like I'm not super tall, but I'm tall, and James makes me look short. Like, I'm about six foot tall. I look back, and James is not there like it was just nothing and then of course I look back in the mirror I see the dark figure again and then I look back then I look back in the mirror like another time I don't know maybe I was dreaming maybe not but when I look back in the mirror it was gone it was almost like it was there twice the third time it was gone it was almost like oh you're doubting me Oh, there it goes, see? All right, I'm not 100% sure if that was Miss Lizzie Borden or Abby Borden. There's only a few pictures of her, but I know for a fact, uh, okay, over here, this is a picture of Andrew right there. And I don't know, they must leave like change and stuff for him. I don't know, maybe that's like a an offering or something. For them, that's a really nice box. Let's check on James. James. Oh, what? Did we have an earthquake last night? Huh? Do we have an earthquake last night? Earthquake? Look at the freaking pictures right there. Oh, look bro. at this picture. Uh, okay. I don't know. You sleep alright, though? I uh, know. I slept for like. Two hours. Same here. I didn't, I didn't really sleep very long. We gotta get out of here, man. Like, yeah. checkout is in like, I don't know. Yeah, I'm coming. I think in like 20 minutes we gotta be out of here because they start doing tours. This is a museum during the day. And they have to get somebody in here to clean really quick. I'm pretty sure they start doing the, the tours like within an hour or so. Luckily, we didn't leave it. Um, well, James kind of left it a mess. Oh, there's sunflower seeds all over the floor. Oh, bro. Oh, stop it. All right, wake your butt up. Are you going to take a shower? Yeah, I'm going to take a shower. I'll be downstairs. Tell him I'm not going to have breakfast, though. All right, cool. came to visit us. Hi, Leanne. Hi, buddy. And that's Leanne. <laughs> well, her name's Leanne, too. So, got the Leanne sisters. I wanted to show you where the Bordens are buried, and it looks like they kind of took over this whole corner here at the Oak Grove Cemetery in River Falls. Got Thomas Borden, our board. Oh, that's the original. That's the Richard Borden. Okay, Richard Borden was one of the very first English Bordens that came here. I'm not 100%. Let's go find out. Really? That's it? It just says R. Borden. All right, we're looking for Andrew and Abby Borden. They were buried here. All right, so we're having a hard time finding these. But wow, look at look at these. These are, they like must have broke off. No such luck finding Andrew, Abby, Lizzie, and Emma, and Sarah. I, I think there's a couple other ones too. I thought it was gonna be right here They were gonna keep them all together, but they're all spread out. Look more Bordens That's crazy ton of them very, very large family. It's a little hard to find good thing We were able to drive around because this cemetery is ginormous now if you ever want to try to find Lizzie Borden's burial spot. I wouldn't recommend going on Google. I mean you could go on Google to see what the you know, but they all look alike. I would say look for 
you know, other cars. And that's what we kind of did too. There's a car right over there. Somebody taking pictures, but. Oh, what the hell was that? Just had to be like, go by my ear right now. So there is where they laid Andrew Borden to rest. And if you're wondering what that J stands for, his name was Andrew Jackson Borden. Oh, Emma is buried here. I didn't know that. Yeah, they're all buried here. Okay. So at first glance, I thought AJ, Andrew Jackson Borden, was buried here. But this is just like his family's memorial. This is his actual burial site. It's right there. Andrew Jackson Borden. And that's Abby Borden. That was his second wife. This was Sarah's burial spot. And I did not know this until today. And I mean, I, I know so much about the Lizzie Borden story. And so do these guys. They, they didn't even know this. There was a third daughter born to the Bordens. Her name was Alice and she died at, she died when she was a baby. She was only two years old. And what, what was the cause of death? It was some kind of hydro, Hydrocephalus fluid. Yeah, I really don't know. Some kind of fluid in, in her brain, but yeah, she was buried there. The two year old that died? Yeah. yeah. You heard about that? Yeah, you want to know something else? I found out that I forgot the details last night, but you remember that room on the third story where it had that toy box? Right. Well, what happened was a Borden, like, you know, they were a really big family. There was one that stayed on that property before, before Lizzie and her family even moved in. She drowned her three kids in a well right on that property. Like, actually drowned them, and then she slit her own throat. Wasn't that the house next door? Uh, it was on the Yeah, I heard that. At the, at the yeah, house next yeah. door on the same property. The house next door. That's what I heard. Right. Yeah. But it was the same property. It was yeah. owned by the Bordens, uh, part of the family. And uh, that's why they, they leave toys there. They think those kids' spirits haunt that place or, you know, are there anyways. A lot of history here. See, there's the answer to my question. Emma is buried here. I'm not sure who passed who or who survived who. And there's Lizzie's grave right there. You can see people spent a whole lot of time here because there's not much grass here. There's a lot of dirt right there. I think people, like Leanne said, camp out here. Somebody brought some flowers there and left some offerings. You guys want to do some EVPs? Sure. I kind of want to do them over there because these guys were the victims. I don't want to talk to Lizzie right yeah, now. Every, every time I hear an EVP that comes from here, no matter what show or who I watch, the guy's voice, I swear to God, it's always the same. Every oh, time wow. you pick up a male EVP, go back and like listen to a lot of the older shows. You'll hear the male's voice. It always kind of sounds the same, like old style English talk. It's mm. not your normal today speech because you're going back to the 1800, you know? They lived in an Irish neighborhood yeah. at the time, right? So they probably yeah, had a, was a lot of Irish. probably had an Irish accent in a way, you know. I I don't know. Nope. But we're gonna do some EVPs. I was using this the other night, and this is actually two spirit boxes in one. Mm -hmm. So I want to ask, I want to ask Andrew. Actually, I'm gonna ask Andrew and Abby. Andrew and Abby, what happened to you on August fourth, eighteen seventy two? Were your daughters responsible for your deaths? Whoa. I sound like a man. Is that you, Andrew? Come talk to us. We want to hear what you have to say. So a lot of people curious about what happened on August 4th. How many spirits are with us right now? Can you give us a number? Ooh, what was that? I said eight. It sounds clear eight right there. Whoa. You know what I... Whoa. Sometimes spirit communication takes time. Especially through like electronic voice phenomenon. Emma! What... What happened? Oh, I heard somebody. Emma would know. What happened to you guys growing up? Was your father abusive? Did he deserve to die? Yeah. You know, that's what makes the 
Borden case so unique. It's like there's no clear answers, you know, to, to what happened. I mean, everything was pointing to Lizzie, but, you know, if Lizzie had a motive to kill her own father, I mean, she, she honored her father. I mean, according to, to everybody else, I mean, had a great deal of respect for him, did a lot for him, but I mean, like, why did she kill her father? Why did she kill her stepmom? Why was Emma not present during the whole thing? Sketchy. What about you, Lizzie? Are you innocent? What did that say? Were you abused by your father? Come talk to me. If you did murder your stepmom and, and your father, like, why did you do it? What was the reason? I'm not getting anything. Oh, saying a lot now. Oh, dude, I heard hello like twice. How are you? We're here. Talk to us. Why were you murdered? That's Andrew. Is there anything you want to tell us, Andrew? Did you deserve to die, Andrew? Lizzie, are you here? Or Emma? I don't know. Well, we have a great deal of respect for you. And we hope we are resting in paradise, all of you. Same voice, yeah. Andrew and Abby, really sorry what happened to you guys. Especially you, Sarah. It's not fair you were taken away from, from motherhood when your children were so young. Had it been a great great deal of pain for everybody may you guys rest in peace all right let me know in the comments i mean it's it was kind of hard for me to read all those evps i mean just sometimes you gotta listen to them over and over again this is a beautiful cemetery though i mean i've been to a lot of cemeteries if you're ever in the fall river area of massachusetts be sure to check out the Lizzie Borden house. If you're a paranormal investigator, I definitely encourage you to come out here to the Oak Grove Cemetery. If you get some EVPs and you get anything interesting, please let me know. I'd love for you to tag me on like an Instagram post or maybe on Twitter. Yeah, I, I don't know. Um, I haven't really seen my footage from earlier today or last night. I Honestly, I didn't really sleep that well. And not because, like I told you, not because the beds were uncomfortable or anything. In fact, I encourage you, like, please go visit the Lizzie Borden house. It was so cool. It was a very unique experience filled with scary feelings, horrible feelings. I mean, uh, exciting feelings. It was just a, a, a ball of emotion all wrapped in, into one. But we got something special planned for you. Now, the house that Lizzie Borden and Emma Borden moved into after they inherited their their dad's inheritance you know they bought this beautiful home and it's in the same areas not far but it's a completely different house we're not only going to investigate this house but we're gonna gonna give you a, an explore video it's gonna be great it's gonna be opening pretty soon into a bed and breakfast we're gonna be one of the first to be able to go in here and film from what i've been told it is like one of the most original houses for its time you know like the flooring the wallpaper all the woodwork it's all original if stuff has been changed they changed it back to its original glory i can't wait to share this with you i'm gonna go ahead and start letting you go be sure to check out my friend james the fam i'll leave links down in the description lizzie borden's twitter their facebook be sure to check them out. A lot of great history here. If you love American history, I mean, this was one of the most high profile criminal cases, especially for women. Very, very popular. And it's, I mean, it, it will continue to be popular and be read in our history books. So I'm going to go ahead and let you go. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to kiss that 
like button. Gotta go before you leave though. Give me a kiss. Peace.